So just to give you a couple ideas on the second half of this paper, uh, starting with number eight. Uh, so this takes you back to the very first unit of the year. This was our final lesson of the first unit. Uh, it was lesson eight, um, where mainly we're just setting up proportions uh, as we saw for the exchange stuff. Uh, as you get to number nine, this takes you to chapters, uh, see, so this was chapter 18 where we did uh, three-dimensional volume, surface area, things like that. Uh, all this is formulas that you guys have in your formula packet, so uh, you can always take a look at for the geometry ones, um, like especially for like to say the curved surface of the cone is directly in your formula packet. So you can take a look at those. Uh, sequences and series, uh, this will take you back to chapter 12. Uh, geometric sequences was, uh, I want to say about lesson three is where we did geometric sequences. So um, you're welcome to peek back at your notes for uh, what we did on these, the formulas are all in your formula packet for these guys as well. So you can take a look at those formulas. Remember, common ratio uh, is simply any term divided by the previous term would get you a common ratio. Um, let's see. This one is pretty basic algebra. It's just talking about equations of lines. These are in the form of y equals mx plus b. Uh, the gradient, remember that means slope. So when they say the slope of line one, uh, I can look right here and see my gradient is negative two-thirds. Um, perpendicular, just remember that perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Uh, so if you consider what your slope was for this one, that will help you figure out what your slope of line two would be as well. Um, if they do ask you to answer something in a specific format, just make sure you do that. So you'll probably use the point-slope uh, formula for this guy. Um, just don't leave it like that. Get all your terms onto one side so that it equals zero uh, and then you'll have the answer in the format that they're looking for. Uh, for this one you could always use your graphing calculator uh, if it helps you on this one. Um, it looks like to start though um, we would need to be able to plug in some numbers. So this is actually going to be one from chapter 24, which is our intro to calculus that we haven't covered yet. So I'm going to have you guys skip this one for now. Um, and you're going to go to 13. Uh, this goes back to our uh, formulas for non-right triangles. Uh, so remember like law of sines, law of cosines, as well as the area, our one half AB sine C formula that we used. Those are all in your formula packet as well. Um, Let's see, on this one, compound interest. So you have a formula uh, right below sequences and series in your formula packet. You'll see the formula for compound interest. Uh, it looks like that's what you're going to be using for this one. So take a look at that formula. And then for the last one, quadratic function. Um, just remember that in order to get a vertex, we can always do negative b over 2a uh, in order to get the x-coordinate of your vertex. So at least for starters on this, I know I could do negative b over 2a equals 3 as one of my equations. Um, let's see, if the y-intercept is 10, keep in mind they're telling you right here that you have a point on the graph at 0, 10. Um, if an x-intercept is 1, that also tells me I have another point on the graph at 1, 0. Um, and so I should be able to take numbers like uh, 0, 10, and plug those in for my x and for my y in order to figure out like my c value. And it looks like you're going to need a system of equations to solve for a and b for part b here. So um, I already gave you a hint as to how you find one of those equations. That was by knowing that the vertex is negative b over 2a equals 3. So that can be used as one of your equations. Uh, another one of your equations you could get by knowing this information. So I, based on this, I should be able to plug in a 1 for x and a 0 for y, and that should give me a second equation. And then I can use something like substitution uh, in order to solve for a and b. Um, no, 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 and that should be it. So go look on that. Again, I'll, I'll try to help answer any questions that I can. Um, so try to shoot me a quick message if you're really stuck. Um, but that's it for now.